Are you sitting comfortably? Well then, let's begin. Hello and welcome to the next What If. And this What If is called... What If an Asteroid Hit the Earth? A big asteroid, that is. Apocalyptic situations like asteroids hitting the Earth have been portrayed in science fiction many times. Movies and books have been made to portray this possibility, such as Deep Impact, Armageddon and Lucifer's Hammer. However, asteroid impacts are things of fact. Look up at the moon tonight and you will see hundreds of impact craters. There are also many craters on Earth left there during the early years of the solar system. However, most of the craters have been camouflaged by the environment. Although large asteroids are much less common than in the early years, they can still happen. In fact, there were fears of a large asteroid called Apophis would hit us in 2009, causing massive damage. However, you can rest easy, this has now been proved false. Obviously, the most famous asteroid to hit Earth was one 65 million years ago. Any guesses what that is, Seward? It's the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. This asteroid was so large that it threw so much dust and moisture into the air, into the atmosphere, that it cut off almost all sunlight, causing temperatures to plummet worldwide and ending the reign of the dinosaurs. Asteroids that are a few meters wide are likely to be able to survive the entry into our atmosphere meaning that it will hit us with its full force and will not break up into small particles. Here's an example. In 2028, an asteroid will come extremely close to Earth but will miss it by a few miles. If something were to change its course between now and then, a mile-wide asteroid would strike the Earth at around 30,000 miles per hour. An asteroid that large would have the energy equal to a 1 million megaton bomb. An asteroid this large would be likely to wipe out all life on Earth. If an asteroid the size of a house hit Earth at 30,000 miles per hour, it would have the energy roughly equal to the bomb that dropped on Hiroshima. An impact the size of this one would be able to flatten concrete buildings up to half a mile from ground zero doing extensive damage to any city. If an asteroid the size of a 20 story building were to hit a city, it would have energy equal to that of the largest nuclear bombs. It would completely destroy almost any major city. By the time you reach a one mile wide asteroid, you are looking at an impact 10 million times greater than the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima it would be able to flatten everything up to 200 miles away from ground zero and would cause extensive damage possibly 1000 miles out. The amount of dust thrown into the atmosphere would block out the sun and cause mass devastation, killing almost everything. If the asteroid was to land in the ocean however, it would cause tidal waves hundreds of feet high, submerging coastal cities. This image is an up-to-date map as of 2010 displaying the orbits of planets and the estimated positions of thousands of known asteroids. Estimates suggest that for every asteroid on a dangerous Earth approaching orbit, there are hundreds more undiscovered ones. There are over 300 known objects on Earth crossing orbits, the majority of which are capable of causing death and destruction on a scale unheard of in human history. All yellow objects in this image are Earth approaching asteroids. That wraps up today's episode of no, What If. First, we have, to, we have to talk about yeah, about it a little more. Right. Oh, I'll, I'll take know. control of the microphone. You can't speak. You're a jackass. You're a jackass. You're fucking. I don't watch you. You're a fucking fish. So, um, are you are you scared of this this imminent threat? No, not not at all. Well, yeah, a little, a little bit, a little bit. He's a little bit scared, and so am I, as you should be. But um, if 
if it were to happen within 50 years, let's say, we're gonna, we're gonna get fucked up, basically. I mean, everyone listening to this is gonna die. <laughs> but if it were to happen in maybe over a hundred years' time, we would probably have the scientific ability, the technology, to prevent it. How do you think we'd prevent it? Well, we'd probably send a rocket up there and just smash into many little pieces. Exactly. It's very, it's very correct. We would send a rocket up there, or, or some men, to plant some C4. That's we'd blow it the fuck up. Well, but then there'd be lots of little ones, all bombarding Earth. So you know, oh. that that wraps up this episode of What If. Goodbye.